Hello everybody, my name is Alan from Cyberlab and today will be another Oracle Cloud video. In this video, we'll show how you can install Pi-hole in your Oracle Cloud. In this way, you can block some ads and not necessarily that you need to dedicate a Raspberry Pi or a computer only for this ad block. You can have everything in the cloud, in this case Oracle Cloud, and that you can drag to your DNS your router DNS or your computer or your device DNS through this uh, PyHole instance or you also could install a wiring guard or open VPN to make a VPN application and through this VPN they will use the PyHole as a ad block. If you like this idea and want to learn a little bit more about it we're gonna show in this video but first of all don't forget to leave your like, subscribe for the channel and let's do it. Before we start to do any installation, let's go through our system, try to understand a little bit better what we have and what we need to do in order to get this PyHole working. First thing, we have our instance. In my case, I install the Ubuntu server. I don't know if they will work well with the Oracle Linux, but I believe that will not have any issue. Other thing that I create, it's a virtual machine where I use the ADM processor. And in this ADM, I have one core, 0.48 gigabytes of uh, band, and one gigabyte of memory. Why I make so low? Because the Pi hole don't need so much capacity. It's only a DNS application, so should work really well. As well, with this instance, I have some ports that I need to open. If I open here my rules for the ports that I open, I need to have port 53 where it will be managed on my TNS. Remember, this port needs to be TCP. As well, I need to have port 8 where it will be UDP and port 8 again to be TCP. Remember to open these three ports. The rest of the ports don't worry, this time at least, because we're not going to open. If you're going to use OpenVPN, you need to open the 1194. If you're going to use the wiring guard, you need to open the port 51820. But in this case, we're only going to open these three ports that we need to do it. What else we need to have? We need to have an update system. So I will open my put because I just like it and I have my operating system that has been just great. Only thing that I did, I did my first uh, update only to avoid that take too much time. But let's do it again only to be sure that we are using all the latest update. To do it, we're going to do sudo apt get update and we're going to run this list. Once that list is complete, we can do the upgrade. To do the upgrade will be exactly the same step, but we'll put upgrade. Will be upgrade and we run it. In my case, I just run this upgrade, so don't have any application that need to be upgraded. So now what I need to do? I need to start to install my PowerHole. First, we're gonna clear this page to be a little bit more tight. And now we're gonna install this step. Core SSL HTTP install pyhole.net slash bash. So we're gonna run it and they will do all the steps for you. They will check if your systems update. First thing they say, this installation will transform your device into network wide ad block. Before we continue anything, I want to open it for you guys. What I did, one of the comments they say, Alan, I cannot see at all what you have in your screen. Sometimes I use a small screen, sometimes I use a different size of monitor and it's difficult to use. So I decided to change the appearance and look online. I didn't know that put could do it, but I changed the appearance to have a 24 size of letter. So if you guys think that's better to see, leave your comment. If you think that you need to increase for 26, 30 or anything, let me know as well. And if you think that you need to decrease because it's too big and it's not able to sell the information, let me know, okay? So I hope that you guys leave the comment in this video to see how many people watch until this stage. So let's start to do the installation. This installation will transform your device in the network ad block. Wonderful, we're gonna put enter. They say that will be power for the Pi hole and if you want to do any donation to improve the program, feel free to do it. Now they say that uh, you need to have a static IP. One thing that uh, I didn't know in the first time, but then after research a little bit, Oracle Cloud will give you a static IP. 
only will change your IP once that you terminate your instance and you create another one. Uh, all the life of your instance will be exactly the same IP. So yes, we can consider it as a static IP. So you put yes. And they ask what kind of DNS provider that you want to use. In my case, I really like to use the Cloudflare, but you can use any provider. You can use Google or either a customer one, but we're gonna put as a Cloudflare. Now they have that standard list. You always can update and put more information in this list, but in this case, we're gonna use only the standard. And they ask, you want to use an admin interface? Yes, I want to use because I want to add extra list. I want to see how many ads has been blocked or how many pages has been blocked. So I put, okay. Other thing, they ask if you want to choose the light TPD, that will be the port eight. Yes, I want to do it. So I put, they want to keep some log. Yes, no problem at all. And they ask what kind of uh, privacy mode that you want. Depending how crazy you are, you can show everything or you can put uh, anonymous mode or hide domain client. So in my case, I will put show everything because I don't have problem for it and I put enter. Now they go for the rest of the steps where they will finish to install everything, finish to update your system because we are using a uh, only one gigabyte of run and a not so fast internet that it will take a little bit more to finish this installation. Now they appear that the installation has been completed. What I suggest you to copy this information principally in the your password because this password will need to be used when you want to do the looking in your Pi-hole. So don't forget to do it. So now we can come here and put, okay, we finished the installation. No, because it will not work if you only do this way. First, you need to modify your tables or at least the IP tables. To do this modification, it's simple. And now we're gonna run sudo nano slash hc slash ip table slash rules v4 and put enter. Now we need to add some extra lines only to guarantee that we're gonna be able to access it. If you add here down the these exceptions, we need to add two lines. Let me copy here only because it's easy and I come here and I paste. Let me delete this line that I don't need. What we need to add? We need to add the TCP for the port 53 and UDP for the port 53 as well. And now down the port 22, I can add one extra that I will add for the port 8. So I can copy here exactly the same step, but then I will only change for port 8. Now that I have modified these lines and added this information, can put Ctrl X. Yes, I want to change. And now I need to restart my Raspberry Pi. Otherwise, if I try to access it without restart my system, it would not work. So I'll put sudo reboot. And I wait to reboot. This reboot could take one, two minutes. So let's wait a little bit. How are we gonna access our Pi hole. To be able to access the Pi hole, we need to use exactly the same port that we are using. If you look, it's 150-230-115-223, exactly the same, slash admin, slash index dot PHP. Now we can come in login, and we need to login with exactly the same password that we save. If you didn't save the password and you forgot it, don't for, don't worry, you can put here any in your system, your put, you can put sudo Pi hole, a and P and that's it, they will generate another password for you. So we come here and paste this one, put login. You can put it to remember for seven days, but in my case, you not do it. And now we already have our account. At this moment, I don't have any IP or any machine run it, only the local host. Now what's next step? When I install the wiring guard or the open VPN, I will be able to configure it that this pie hole will be blocking all my ads if I want. The next videos I will show how you can install the wiring guard and the open VPN, one of the options that you like more, in order that you can configure it that this pie hole will be, will be block all the ads that you don't want. As well, you also can add some more block list where you can add more and more and you start to make a big library of block list according for your needs. So guys, I hope that you like this video. In this video, I'll show how you can configure your 
PyVPN or at least add the PyVPN to the Oracle Cloud. In the next video, we'll show how you can use the wiring guard together with this VPN. Only did in two videos, don't be so long and that start to be annoying or boring. You don't need to have the PyVPN add to your wiring guard, only if you want to do this ad block. Otherwise, you can leave only the wiring guard and use any DNS that you are current to use. I hope that you like this video and if you like this video, don't forget to leave your like, consider to subscribe for the channel and see you next time. Bye.